<laughs> Whoa! Welcome to the Truth and Absolute channel, where I speak the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me good God Almighty. But if y'all give me a second, I'll, I'll go on with the video, but I gotta take care of so I gotta wake somebody up. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Nganu, yo, Francis, Nganu, get up, dog. Yo, get up. Two fights, remember? Two boxers in one night. Two boxers in one night. Come on, dog. Get up. Get up, dog. <laughs> This one was extra satisfying for me. My boxing family. This one was extra satisfying for me. And why was it satisfying? Because it's one thing for these guys to jump in the ring to get a payday. It's another one for you to fight a boxer, how Nganu fought Tyson Fury, and talk so big after just because they're praising you, praising you, praising you, that you're talking crazy about the sport. Dang. Wake up. Get up. Second fight coming up. Two boxers, one night. <laughs> Am I petty? Am I petty? Listen, I was getting really sick and tired of how Francis Ngannou was talking. I was getting so sick of it. He went from this quiet, humble dude to this arrogant guy that just thought he was on top of the boxing world, right? Thinking he was going to run through Anthony Joshua, thinking like, <laughs> and I said, had he touched Joshua? That's one thing. But what did y'all think of that right hand? What did y'all think of that defeated look on Nganu's face? Let me tell you what a person once told me. You could play many sports, but you can't play boxing. I know, he's a UFC fighter. If you're a UFC fighter, you can't play boxing at this level. Yes! Damn, was that satisfying. I'm not even the biggest Anthony Joshua fan. I like the dude. I think he's a decent fighter. He got power, obviously. Right. But he just knocked out Francis and Ganu. And yo, was that satisfying. So now this is what I like. I would have hated for Joshua to lose. And for we and then we wait for Tyson Fury and Usyk winner to fight in Ganu. But now it's a lot more interesting. Now we wait for Usyk. Well, wait, what would happen then, though, if Usyk and Fury? I didn't even think about that. Here, let's think on this one together. I don't even know what I'm going to say on this. But. My bad, y'all. I was literally just shaving, and I did it quick because I was getting out the shower when I said, oh, my gosh. Let me sit down now, okay? He's not waking up. This makes it a lot better, but what if Usyk beats Fury? Do we get a trilogy with Usyk and Joshua, even though there's no need for a trilogy? I mean, I guess we kind of went that route with Marquez and Pac-Man, but a lot of those decisions were questionable, so... Ah, this is satisfying, yo. This is a win for boxing in many ways, okay? The baddest man in the planet, Francis Ngannou. Listen, don't play boxing. Oh, that was satisfying. That was satisfying. Anthony Joshua, this is the confidence booster that Anthony Joshua needed because we all know that Anthony Joshua's been on some kind of a, I don't want to call it a slump, but we put him up here after Klitschko and then the losses to Andy Rees and the two losses to Usyk, we kind of knocked him from being a top guy, which a, a win over Ngannou doesn't put you at the back of the heavyweight division, back on top, but it does give him the confidence because now he knocked the dude cold out. Wake up, wake up. He knocked the dude cold out that knocked down Tyson Fury and many people said that he should have won the fight uh, whatever it doesn't even matter anymore it doesn't even matter anymore big ups to Anthony Joshua big ups to the boxing public that's you guys that's me that's all of us this is a win for boxing let's celebrate it y'all let me know what your guys thoughts are on the fight how, how satisfying was it to you or were you kind of hoping Ngannou was gonna win and yo I just read that Drake, Drizzy, Drizzy, whatever his name is, Drake put $1.9 million for Nganu to knock out Anthony Joshua. Now, $1.9 million to Drake ain't nothing. It's like $2 for me. If I have $2 in my pocket, I probably don't. But sorry, Drake, you're out of some money, dog. Oh, that was satisfying. Anyway, man, drop comments down below. Even if it's just some celebrating party hats or whatever, this win is not only for Anthony Joshua. This here win is for boxing and for all the true boxing fans. So much love to y'all. God bless. Enjoy your Friday. And the truth shall set you free, baby. Peace.